work. Now, I know these are high reps. Oh my god, you guys, I had the weirdest dream last night. And I am looking for a little puppy dog, like a dumb friends league or SPCA or something like that. And I'm playing with this cute little puppy dog in like a room on um, like some artificial grass. And all of a sudden I look down at my legs and they're like covered in these massive like bumps. And I start freaking out, like what's happening to my skin? And oh yeah, sunscreen. And so the pet store owner or whatever comes in and he goes, oh, you've been attacked by um, the, and, and then he just kind of mumbles out some kind of word that I can't comprehend. You have to go to the hospital and have, have treatment immediately, otherwise you, otherwise they'll have to amputate your legs. And I look at the little dog and it just kind of like rolled over and like on its back, like, and died and just kind of like, decayed right away and things got like really creepy bizarre and then the whole dream was me trying to get to an ER or a hospital or something so that they could debride these maggots or whatever they were for my legs so I wouldn't have to have my legs amputated. So yeah, I don't know if it had something to do with the chipotle spicy meatballs that I had last night. You know, they say that eating spicy food late at night uh, can uh, lead to weird dreams or if what that means, but anyway. All right, so I'm here uh, at the noon hour and I've been hankering for Thai food, so um, specifically I've been looking for a papaya salad. That's where we're at. For lunch. Oh, uh, you want to do that? Yeah. Okay, great. Score, guys, yeah, papaya salad, my favorite. Winning. I don't know what this is, tapioca. Alright, cool. So, here's what I got. Papaya salad, a little bit of the barbecue chicken, um, and some tofu, and one of these crystal rolls. I love buffets because you can control what you get. You can kind of mix it up. Which I find when I order in restaurants, like a plate, they never have the right proportions of the food that I want. Like, I, they'll give you a huge thing of meat and like three leaves of salad, and you're like, it's not what I wanted. I want the opposite. But and papaya salad's really good, guys. The natural enzyme, the papain enzyme, it's really helpful for uh, help aiding digestion and de bloating. They use green papaya that's not yet ripe, so uh, it has a lower sugar content. Oh my god, you guys, look at this. I'm not getting it, but it's basically a donut with ice cream in it. How decadent. Oh my god. Apparently, it has Nutella in it, too. Um, filmed uh, part three of Thankful for Skin Care set to go up on Monday, so stay tuned. Speaking of Thankful for Skin Care, uh, bringing it back to sal acid, salicylic acid for the week. I'm noticing in the analytics tab that we do have some men, folks. So salicylic acid is for you guys, too. You know, if you have, uh, get those little ingrowns in your beard area, using a salicylic acid face wash, you, you might find to be helpful in kind of reducing that. Hey YouTube, what's up? I am back in the closet of doom. Um, and right quick, I wanted to share with you guys a little something something. But you may have observed that I frequently wear all navy blue. Uh, highly successful people do this. They have essentially a work uniform where they wear the same exact thing every day. And in doing so, it eliminates the need in the morning to figure out what you're going to wear. So I swung into Ann Taylor. Here's what I got. So, but in my signature navy, I got this uh, skirt. I don't know if you can see it. Like uh, pretty much everything in my closet goes with this. Okay, this is why I really love this. This skirt originally retailed for ninety-eight dollars. Okay, it was on sale originally for thirty dollars. Do you think I paid thirty dollars for this? Hell no. I only paid 15 bucks. Hey YouTube, so I just got out of the shower and my face is all clean and I'm testing out a new uh, product that I had in my armamentarium and dug out while I was in the closet of doom. Three step formulation by Galderma. 0.5% of salicylic acid, which is just a whiff, in a sandalwood type formulation. So I uh, went ahead and put on an oil free moisturizer and I'm just gonna put it on and see how it is. You know, and it comes out like a cream. All right. My skin's kind of like a hardened criminal to uh, keratolytics, so I think I can hack it, but I would say for you noobs out there, 
go slow. I'm getting a burning sensation. I don't like that. Oh no, I don't like that at all. Ooh, can you see my eyeballs, guys? This is a live demo. Ooh, calming and soothing my rear East Indian sandalwood oil. But maybe it's the sandalwood. Maybe it's expired. I don't know. Um, going in the trash. Dang, that's a disappoint. I was hoping that that would be a good option for the men folk, uh, you know, in the beard area. I was thinking that might be some uh, men might like to use. But that's going to conclude the vlog today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, share it with your friends. Commentato down below, oh, please. Um, give it a thumbs up. And as always, don't forget your sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Bye. Bye.